Shalom everyone, God bless you in the name of Jesus. This is a new day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. You're seeing this face for your very first time. God bless you. Hallelujah. My name is Basil. This is prayer and prophetic channel of blessings with Pastor Basil. If you have not yet subscribed, family, you are the only one remaining. Do where you're subscribing, you're liking, and you're sharing. For in Jesus' mighty name. Let's be positive as we speak this word together. It is a day that the Lord has made for me to rejoice and be glad. Stop complaining and speak positive words. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. This word is ending up with a testimony for you. For in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word is a word of preparation. Praise Master Jesus. The title says, They are coming to meet you for a physical meeting tonight. They are coming to meet you for a physical meeting tonight. I'm seeing a lady under the sound of my voice. This is actually what this particular lady has been going through. Hallelujah. I'm seeing miscarriage. Miscarriage. I'm seeing miscarriage. Each time this particular lady takes in, anytime you have a dream, there is this particular dream you have been having. You keep on seeing men. You sleep alone. You feel as if a man was beside you. It's not as an ordinary dream. You feel it physically as if somebody was there with you. And I'm seeing a lot of miscarriages. And you're believing God for a child. I'm seeing a lot of miscarriages. And you're believing God for a child. When I saw this particular woman under the sound of my voice, this is actually what the Lord showed me. I saw a meeting. This particular meeting, they have been holding this meeting against you anytime they want to take your baby. The Bible says, everything works together for good for to all those that love God. Secondly, the Bible says, I know the plan I have for you, the thought of good not of evil, to make you prosper. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says, God is not a man to lie, neither the son of man to repent. Will he say a thing and not back the word for it to come to pass? That is another point. The Bible says, all good things comes from the Lord. <laughs> all good things comes from the Lord. Now, a lot of people are asking themselves this question. Pastor, where is this attack coming from? Where is this spiritual husband coming from? Where is this spiritual wife coming from? Anytime you go to bed, this is actually what has been happening. You have prayed. Nothing seems to happen. Hear me. What prayer cannot do, more prayers can do. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Uh, I'm going to ask us one question. For as many that are under the sound of my voice. The Bible says all good things come from the Lord. Now, does God give that attack? No. Does God give failure? No. Does God give barrenness? No. Does God give the sickness? No. Then where is the sickness coming from? That is the question. The Bible says in the book of Job 2, when the children of God gather, the enemy also showed his ugly face. Trying to look for whom he will use as, as a weapon before the Lord. Listen, people of God. You will not be used as an example in the society in the name of Jesus. The devil will not use you. You need to refuse to be Job. 
I say the devil will not use you like an example in the name of Jesus. I saw this particular lady, this woman, miscarriages. And this affliction is coming from the devil. This is an attack. Don't say it's the will of God. It's not the will of God. All good things come from the Lord. If it's not good, it's not from the Lord. Have you noticed that each time you have a particular dream of you having contact with a man, suddenly you will bleed and have that miscarriage? Whenever these evil groups comes with their agenda after their mission with you, they are going back with your baby. When they hold this meeting together, they are coming to take your child and they are going with your baby. The Lord has sent me to speak to you that your days of tears are over. The Lord has sent me to speak to you that your weeping endure just for a night. This prophetic word is coming with your morning sun. I pray for somebody watching and connecting in the name of Jesus. May your morning sun rise again. In the name of Jesus. May your morning sun rise again. You might be watching me right now and you're saying, Pastor, is true. What am I going to do? This is actually the attack that has been going on. Hear me, you're believer. Praise Master Jesus. 90% 90 of everything in your life is being governed by your mindset. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, if you come to God by faith, one of the things you must do, you must believe. If you do not believe that he is a rewarder, you are coming before him and you will not be rewarded. Believe God, I will be rewarded. Believe God, I come to you by faith. I pray for somebody, wheresoever you are joining, watching and connecting, in the name of Jesus, you will not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, I said you will not be disgraced. I pray for you. That spiritual husband that has been sucking your children, as they are coming to hold their evil meeting with you tonight, I pray that their plans are frustrated. This time around, they are exposed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise Master Jesus. I want somebody, praise Master Jesus, stand the gap. What prayer cannot do, more prayers can do. If you're tired on that situation that you're going through, take a fast. Praise Master Jesus. I encourage you to take a fast. Take a few days of fasting. Engage yourself in fasting and prayers. Believe me, you're going to see God in that situation. Believe me, our God cannot shame you. For in Jesus' mighty name, the Bible says Esther took a three-day fast. The Lord came through for her. The Bible says the people of Nini, they took days of fasting. The Lord came through for them. Child of God, somebody watching me. You can still embark yourself on a three days journey of fasting and prayer. Present that issue to the Lord. Cry it to your Father. And I pray for somebody. You will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody. God is coming through for you. For in Jesus' mighty name. As from today, there shall be no lost. In your marriage, no lost. In whatsoever thing that you are doing, no lost. For in Jesus' name, amen and amen.